Good evening, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. I'm down the lower level where I store our books. A minute ago, I was going. To, I was turning off the back light, and I had about 30 books fall on top of my head. <laughs> I had to restack them. Anyway, uh, I don't have my clock down here. And I'm not sure what day it is. <laughs> I think it's the it's the 16th of November. It's November the 16th. It's going on seven o'clock at night here in West Michigan. Like I said, I'm down the lower level where the library is. You can see the library. You know the library. You know all the books and back there and so that's the library you know there's books down there you know there's books everywhere you know books in the back room yeah always books uh, yeah this is where I this is my um, library where I hang out. So in this video I'm going to show you some used books I have gotten recently. Uh, first of all I'll show you the books I got in the mail. I ordered some used books. Uh, I have sh I've shown you that last week or the week before I went to the Blue Stockings bookshop and I bought this two volume biography on St. Thomas Aquinas. Volume 1, The Person and His Work by Jean Perrier Torrell. And the other one is St. Thomas, St. Thomas Aquinas, Spirit, Volume 2, Spiritual Master. I showed you these and so that I, I got into a, a Thomas Aquinas kind of kick and I bought recently, uh, I got this book in the mail, Thomas Aquinas, the Summa Theologica, a biography by Bernard McQuinn. I showed you Bernard McQuinn. He did a series of volumes, I think seven or eight volumes on the history of Christian spirituality called The Presence of God. And he's done some other books on, on Miser Eckerd and he's done book a book on the history of the Antichrist and apocalyptic spirituality. But this is his little biography looking at Thomas Aquinas's Summa. And I got that in the mail. And then today I got in the mail this book, Thomas Aquinas, A Role in Theology by M. D. Chenu, I can't pronounce this. It's translate out of French by Paul Fel Felbert. O. P. O. P. stands for Order of Preachers, the Dominicans. Thomas Aquinas was a Dominican uh, sp spiritual master or master of theology. I was thinking today, I have a master's in theology, but I'm no way do I match up to Thomas Aquinas. Uh, so when I went to Blue Stockings and I bought those two volume biography of Aquinas, I also bought, when I was there, these books, uh, Brief Catechism of Nature and Grace by Henry D. Lombic. Lombic. I read parts of this for a while, I think I read half of it on nature and grace from a Roman Catholic perspective. And then I bought this little book I, when I bought those other ones, the Theodore, the Saint Theodore the Studite on holy icons. This is published by Vermeer's Seminary Press, which publishes Eastern Orthodox literature. So I got this. And then I bought uh, this reader, Hans Jürg von Bastart, uh, the the his uh, the van the von Bastart reader. 
so I got this. He was also a Catholic theologian. So I got those books. Oh, I also got this book, <laughs> The Cult of the Saints by St. John Chrysostom. This is translated by Wendy Mayer. This is also published by Weimar Seminary Press, The Cult of the Saints. So, and then I, I got in the mail this novel to, yesterday by Tomas Espedal. I can't pronounce his name. He's Norwegian. This is Against Nature. Uh, the Notebooks, translated by James Anderson. So, uh, one of the people I watch on BookTube recommended this book and I bought it. I also, another BookTuber recommended a book I had already in my library, uh, James Hogg's The Private Memoirs and Confessions of a Justified Sinner. And I was doing research on it, and it recommended this uh, edition of the Private Memoirs and Confessions of a Justified Sinner by James Hogg by Andrian Hunter. So I got this in the mail today. It has uh, other material in it that I as background reading in this. So I got this in the mail today. Uh, the other day I had to go put ga gas in my old van which is falling apart. I think at the I think the bottom of my van is rusting out and I'm, I'm always afraid that it's just gonna come the whole bottom is gonna fall out but I still drive it around and put gas in it. But after I got gas for my van I went to Bibles in Mexico and looked at their books. My wife had gone there the other day and she bought me this book, uh, Protestant Biblical Interpretation by Bernard Ram. My wife found this at Bibles to Mexico and she also bought me at Bibles to Mexico The Making of Italy, 1796 to 1870, edited by Dennis Max Smith. I have a biography by Dennis Max Smith on Mussolini, who was the dictator during the Second World War, worked with Hitler. So I went back to Bibles to Mexico to see if there's any other books. And I found this book. I got all these books for 87 cents. They're having like you buy one, you get one free. Without Reservations, The Travels of Independent Woman by Alice Steinbeck. This is a travel memoir. I like travel memoirs. Uh, so I got that. And then I found a novel by Jim Harrison. I had this already in my library, but I wasn't sure. This is Sundog by Jim Harrison, who is uh, a writer that I collect. This was a book I couldn't find in my library and I wanted a copy of it. It's only like you know, 20, 12 cents. The center of the island, the island of the center of the world, the epic story of Dutch Manhattan and the forgotten colony that shaped America by Russell Shorte. Shorte, Short I can't pronounce the name. And then I picked up this novel translated by uh, Margaret Duras, The Lover, translated from the French by Barbara Bray. I had a copy of this, but I can't find it, so I got it for Bibles to Mexico. And uh, so I got this. This is another memoir, uh, Fictional Ruin My Family by Jean Duras. I got this at Bibles to Mexico. I like memoirs, and it was really cheap, and so I grabbed it. This is a novel I found at Bibles to Mexico by an Italian writer, On Earth as It Is in Heaven, by David Ina, translated out of the Italian by Anthony Shergar. 
I don't know. It looked interesting, and so I grabbed it. I got this uh, at the Book Nook about a week ago. It's another Winston Churchill book. But this is by Boris Johnson, who was the Prime Minister of Great Britain and, you know, British politics. But he was he's a journalist before he was in the Prime Minister. And, but he wrote a book on Churchill, which I didn't know, called The Churchill Factor. How One Man Made History by Boris Johnson. Uh, I got these books at Salvation Army a week ago. Martin Amos, A House of Meetings, which I had already in my library. And then I found a novel by Ann Beatty with Beatty, Another You, which I already had. So I'm going to put these in the van. And then I found at Salvation Army about a week ago, Lines of Fire, Women Writers of the World War II by edited by Margaret R. Heganet. Uh, I collect books on World War I and these are writings by women who wrote about in that time period. Short fiction, memoirs, It just look kind of interesting. Political writings, journalism, testimonies, diaries, memoirs, letters, interviews, uh, short fiction, poems, all written during the First World War by women. I found this at Salvation Army, the glorious the glorious, what's it called? Heresies. This is uh, by Lisa Mc, McNerney, a novel. I never heard of her, but this was Bailey's Woman's Prize for Fiction in 2016. It had a, it's, I think she's a, uh, she lives in Galway, which I think is in Scotland or Ireland, I'm not sure, but I picked this up. And then I picked up a novel by a, by a writer who is from, who lives in Bogota. His name is Juan Gabrady Van Quiz, The Shape of the Ruins, a novel. I have another novel of his, but I got rid of it when I dehauled my books last year. But this is another book by him. Uh, I had another book by him, but I, I must have got rid of it. I think it was... Oh, I can't remember. But I grabbed it when I saw it at Salvation Army. So those are the used books I got at thrift stores, the book nook, in the mail. Like I said, I've been reading primarily, well I started reading this yesterday and last night, uh, Against Nature, The Notebooks by Tomas Ispadel. And I have been reading, I read for a while, I've been reading this this evening. Aquinas in the Role in Theology by Chanu. And I read this for a while, this uh, Bernard McQuinn, Thomas Aquinas, the Summa Theologica, a biography. Yeah, then I got kind of burnt out on Thomas Aquinas. So then I've been reading, like I said, I've been reading... Uh, I read a lot of uh, James Hogg's The Private Memoirs and Confessions of a Justified Sinner. I've read almost all of this, but then I wanted 
this edition of it. So I got this in the mail today. So I'll read the uh, extra material in the back in the introduction to this. So, yeah. So that's what I've been reading. In the mornings I've been reading, like I said, the same things. In the mornings for in the mornings I read my Christian books. I finished the Second Corinthians Reformation Commentary. I'm still reading St Stephen Scharnock on the existence and attributes of God. I'm still reading Sinclair Ferguson's books, book on pastors and teachers reflecting on biblical ministry or something like that. I'm still reading Van Manstrit on the doctrine of man and sin. Uh, what else I've been reading? Oh, Thomas Aquinas, the Summa. Writing in my diary, my paper diary. I'm on 1070 tonight, 72. 1072 for the year 2022. We got about 44 more days left in this year. And then we go into the year 2023. Here in Michigan, it's been snowing, cold, it's in the 30s, raining. Pretty soon we'll come into the winter season. We're going to the end of the month, going December. I'm hanging in there, you know, I. Life is hard and difficult. I struggle every day, and but I just go through the morning and afternoon and evening and night, pray for grace, just keep persevering. Come down here and look at my books, write in my diary, feed the birds, talk to my wife, volunteer at the book nook on Mondays and Fridays, pray in the mornings, pray at night. Right in my composition, I write in this at night when I come down the lower level. And that's what I do. So I hope you're having, you're all doing well. Hope you're not too disappointed about the elections. I think it was better than I thought, where I expected. Still, the world is in a terrible mess. America is in a terrible mess. It's one thing I was telling my wife this morning. We are on the great apostasy. The great falling away before the second coming of Christ. We have, we're, we're been handed over to divine judgment. That's what I've come to conclusion about. We're under divine judgment. And, the, and there's been a great apostasy. The church, the visible church has forsaken the teachings of the Bible, the Word of God is no longer held as the Word of God. Men have turned to their own gods, their own idols, their own lust for power, for wealth. And nobody cares about anything except themselves. They're bowing down to their own selves, their own egos. There's no desire anymore to love and worship the Lord Jesus Christ or to read and and pray and read God's Word. Everybody's just going the way of the devil. So it's kind of, I get kind of disappointed, but then at the same time, I'm a student of human history and and that's just the way it's always been. So you just have to live each day seeking the Lord, running the race, seeking to be holy as God is holy and seeking to be faithful Husbands, faithful, faithful wives, faithful neighbors. Go out there and promote righteousness and justice and love. Show compassion. Feed the poor. And uh, pray for revival. <laughs> so, thank you for the new subscribers. I know this is rambling, but this is me. Like I said, I, I'm spontaneous. you got to be real. you got to speak from your heart. You got to lift up Jesus. You can't become despairing. God is sovereign. He's ruling the heavens and the earth. And He's coming again. So, once again, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. And until next time, bye.